Thus says the Lord God of hosts, Come, go to this steward, to Shebna, who is over the household, and say to him, What have you to do here, and whom have you here, that you have cut out here a tomb for yourself, you who cut out a tomb on the height, and carve a dwelling for yourself in the rock? Behold, the Lord will hurl you away violently, O you strong man. He will seize firm hold on you. Thus says the Lord God of hosts, Come, go to this steward, to Shebna, who is master of the household, and say to him, What right do you have here? Who are your relatives here, that you have cut out a tomb here for yourself, cutting a tomb on the height, and carving a habitation for yourself in the rock? The Lord is about to hurl you away violently, my fellow. He will seize firm hold on you. This is what the Lord, the Lord Almighty, says. Go, say to this steward, to Shebna, the palace administrator, What are you doing here, and who gave you permission to cut out a grave for yourself here, hewing your grave on the height, and chiseling your resting place in the rock? Beware, the Lord is about to take firm hold of you, and hurl you away, you mighty man. This is what the Lord, the Lord of heaven's armies, said to me. Confront Shebna, the palace administrator, and give him this message. Who do you think you are, and what are you doing here, building a beautiful tomb for yourself, a monument high up in the rock? For the Lord is about to hurl you away, mighty man. He is going to grab you. The Master, God of the angel armies, spoke. Come, go to this steward, Shebna, who is in charge of all the king's affairs, and tell him, What's going on here? You're an outsider here, and yet you act like you own the place. Make a big fancy tomb for yourself where everyone can see it, making sure everyone will think you're important. God is about to sack you, to throw you to the dogs. He'll grab you by the hair, swing you round and round dizzyingly, and then let you go.' 